Okay, hello. My name is Hall Vogt. I am uh, a health and PE instructor, health and PE 10 over at uh, Hayfield Secondary. Uh, let's, uh, I'm just going to run through the um, curriculum and what we do over here at Hayfield. So let's get started. Okay, hold on a second. So we're sharing the screen at this point. Uh, let me just go large screen real quick. Sorry about this. So what we do here in 10th grade PE is we uh, take on uh, the sort of the same things we do in ninth grade, except uh, we're only doing uh, one quarter of health and one quarter of driver ed. So they, they uh, actually include that. So health and PE 10, what's our goal? We develop lifetime fitness practices. We're learning lifetime activities and some other things. Try to become aware of our future and build a positive outlook towards it. We try to do lifetime sports as, a po as opposed to, um, you know, football or some of the other ones that require that, that are more like baseball and softball. We, we tend to stick to things that we can always play. Volleyball will always be played at the businesses and on the beach and everywhere we go. Volleyball seems to be very popular. So we cover volleyball, lifetime stuff, ping pong, some other stuff that we do um, that are considered lifetime sports, a lot of running. One year of health and PE means two quarters of PE, one quarter of health and one quarter of driver ed. Again, we try to do some lifetime activities. Here are a few that are on here. <clears throat> we do a lot of fitness uh, in 10th grade, and we also key on cardio. Try to get our cardio level up and our endurance up. If you look at that, um, the pacer we use here in, at Hayfield, where um, it's a great example of how we collect data to see how kids are improving or not improving um, by way of a number as the beep gets faster then kids have to drop out of this uh, thing we call pacer um, and then they try to get a higher number each time and try to improve and that's how we see improvement it's an interesting how you can do that numerically and get you some data just to look at and uh, see how kids are improving or not improving like i said we do one quarter of health we do have family life and drug awareness a lot of the stuff that life choices um and some of the other drugs that are the fentanyl that's creeping into the country, we get, we get that, the, we cover that kind of thing, um, which is different than ninth grade. Driver ed, this is one, we could do this all day, but we do one quarter of driver education. Uh, if the student gains enough credits, um, then he gets a pink card, which he advanced to the behind the wheel class. Um, they also have to attend a partner for safety and driving. Um, which is also you have to do two things in order to get the pink card, pass the class and go to a Partners for Safety and Driving seminar. So there are combinations of all those four things. We combine health, PE and driver ed to create a year of growth, self-awareness and potential for years to come. So that's pretty much what we do here. Um, it sounds like a little bit like ninth grade, except we eliminate one health and we add some driver ed. This would be the end of the road for a lot of kids as far as taking a PE class. They can always take electives, but uh, as far as what it requires to graduate, this is pretty much the end of the road. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.